Can I have that moment, please? Before you super truckers and million milers start pissing on my campfire. Hey, what's going on, Wolfpack? It's Lone Wolf Trucker coming back at you with another video. Hey, I'm sure you guys see the title of the video. Company driver pulling in $4,000 a week. It's not clickbait, but I do have to get into details on exactly what I'm presenting in this video and why I came up with that title. So first things first, I'm coming off of a phenomenal, when I say phenomenal, I mean a phenomenal week at ATS as far as money to me, all right? I'm not even told my revenue to the truck. You know, in the past videos, I've talked about the quote unquote revenue to the truck uh, at TMC. Over at ATS, as a company driver, you're really not, I guess, included in that metrics, right? So things are not broken down as far as revenue to the truck. You just kind of see whether you're going to get paid a percentage of the load or if you're going to get paid cents per mile whichever one works out to be greater that's what you get paid so and a lot of times it's a combination of you might do one run and and get cents per mile and then on the next one it might work out better for you to get paid by percentage but it's 28 percent is the percentage for uh is what ats pays and that's straight across the board uh 28 percent of the load or you get paid uh, cents per mile with the bare minimum uh, being 55 cents per mile uh, is the floor as far as the, the absolute least you can make as far as cents per mile goes. But back to this phenomenal week that I'm coming off of, uh, like the title says in the video, uh, you know, I, I've almost pulled four grand. I didn't pull exactly four grand. So if you want to think that it's clickbait because it wasn't exactly four grand, uh, think what you want. But it's damn near close to four grand is what I made uh, in the week that I'm coming off of. So I got my settlement and somewhere up in this screen up here right now, if I edit my video correctly, you guys should be seeing a snapshot of my actual settlement that I got and my settlement is going to show you that it was $3,796.27 so to be more correctly I guess I should have put the title as $3,800 uh, you know company driver makes but 4k just sounds a little bit better so if you want to knock me for a little clickbait you know, I guess it's it's due then. But uh, no, no jokes. You know, no, no jokes aside. Uh, you guys could see if, like I said, if I edited the video correctly, you guys could see that that's what I made as far as my settlement. And I'm just coming off of a, a phenomenal week, so I'm pretty excited about that. But on the flip side, because I do want to show both sides of the the spectrum here, I'm also going to post up. Somewhere up in here should be popping up on the screen now is another snapshot of my lowest settlement that I've gotten from ATS since I've been here, which has been uh, $442.80. Yeah, ouch. And to be fair and honest with that one, I, I was on home time, right? So I, I only pulled one load on that settlement and... Uh, you know the settlement was just it, it it was what it was it was a cheap load i was going on home time so i didn't make much money that week due to the fact that uh i was going on home time and i only pulled that one load and it was a cheap load so there you have it but you guys could see both sides of the spectrum me coming off of of a phenomenal week this past week and you know uh i guess it's about a month or so back or maybe two months back where I had my lowest paycheck. Well, my lowest settlement, I should say, because keep in mind, all of these numbers are gross numbers before taxes and deductions. And if you guys watch any of my other pay videos, you already know the reason why I do gross numbers versus net numbers. And if you haven't, 
I'll post a link to another video so I don't have to go and explain all that all over again. But these settlements are gross numbers before your uh, deductions from uh, your payroll and all of that. So once again, the highest uh, settlement that I got thus far I'm recently coming off of is $3,796.27 and... Also, my lowest settlement I've ever received from ATS so far is $442.80. Now, I'm going to post, once again, with the magic of editing after this video, then I'm going to post a snapshot of what ATS tells you that you can make as a company driver. And that is ranging right now on, excuse me, I'm looking down at my notes here because I'm actually using my phone to record this video. Uh, so my notes here, ATS right now currently is averaging uh, $1,600 to $1,900 a week for company drivers. And that's from the horse's mouth. That's from ATS. And I, like I said, I, I, I post that uh, snapshot up so you guys can see that for yourself. Um, but I find from, from when I've been running, I'm about 90 days in now, and I'm going to put up another video with my initial thoughts and impressions on ATS uh, soon here to follow uh, after this video. Um, but I've been averaging about $17.50 uh, is what I've been averaging so far. And it's really below what I'm trying to do. Really, I came in ATS. I really wanted to make about $2,000 a week. Uh, just the way things have been running, you know, the certain circumstances and, and weather and all this other stuff, breakdowns and stuff I had with my other truck, uh, just hasn't hit exactly where I want to be. But at 17, around 1750 right now, between 17 and 1800 a week is not too bad. I'm not complaining right now. I just wrapped up, uh, my 90 days here. Uh, so I'm looking to improve on that to get to that. Uh, number that 2,000 a week number where I want to be. So right now at 1750, that's going to average out for the year uh, right above 90k, uh, which really I want to be at 100k uh, at the end of the year. So hopefully we can hit those numbers. Right now it's projected to be about 91,000 at the rate that I'm going thus far. But according to ATS, and I'll post once again that uh, snapshot so you guys can see it. Uh, 1600 to 1900 is the company driver flatbed average and uh, that comes to be about 83,000 to about 98 99,000 uh, yearly so I'm trying to truly be up there at that 1900 a week range and even though I'm coming off a phenomenal week of you know almost four grand in my settlement I'm not making four grand every single week. If I was, I'd, I'd probably never even think about, you know, uh, not being a company driver anymore. It would just be, it would be phenomenal if, if I could have weeks like that all the time. But the reality is I don't have weeks like that all the time, but I did want to give you a, a, uh, I guess, a, a, a peek in or, or, or a view into how it's been for me so far at ATS. Let you see the highs, let you see the lows. Like I said, highest was almost four grand. The lowest is, is 400 and change. So definitely wasn't happy with that 400 and change um, uh, settlement. But you got to realize this is trucking. So if the truck ain't moving and you're on home time, you ain't making no money. That's just what it is. This is not a regular nine to five and you got vacation time and all that. You know, when you want to take home time, you have to budget in for that because you know when the truck's not moving and you're on home time, you ain't making no money. So that's just the way it is in, in trucking. So hopefully you guys got a little bit of a, a perspective on, you know, what it's been like for me, uh, you know, uh, revenue wise coming over to ATS and you know revenue is one of the reasons why I made the the jump to come over to ATS but uh an additional you know increase in revenue or pay was not the sole reason why I came over to ATS because in in the end of it 
I believe that I'm going to make more money than I did at TMC. I made real good money at TMC uh, for a rookie year and, and, you know, never even doing trucking before. I w that was a phenomenal year for me at TMC. Obviously, I'm going to make more here at ATS, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, 10000 more or, or what have you over the year, it's not really that much more money as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's more about the experience. It's more about having more access to opportunities um, as far as ATS and Specialized. So that's the real reason that I made the jump uh, from TMC over to ATS. So it wasn't just about the money. And to me, it's, it's not always about the money. But it is nice to be making more money over here at ATS and especially how they run you. You know, I don't have to run five loads a week at ATS to make a phenomenal paycheck. Uh, and that almost four grand settlement that I'm just coming off of, that was only two loads. <laughs> two loads uh, brought me that uh, settlement of almost, uh, roughly almost uh, two grand per load. So I didn't have to run five loads to make almost four grand. And you know, when I look back at TMC and the amount of hustle that I put in to, to make the money that I made just to make over two grand, uh, you know, to, to me, uh, as far as gross pay, you know, I was really knocking out some, some loads over there. Uh, so comparison is a little bit different here at ATS, but just wanted to share with you guys uh, how it's going for me so far financially over at ATS, give you a little look at the highs and lows. And, and this is just for me. I can't speak for no other drivers at ATS. So this has just been my experience. And, and hopefully you guys realize that this is just me. This is just what I'm going through. And I'm trying to share a little bit of that with you guys. And uh, hopefully you got a little bit of insight and, uh, you know, a little bit of value out of this video. But until the next video, this is Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf Trucker signing out. Peace.